building a small garden home office with drainage and water access this can be a bit of a struggle if you're having a new build luckily we had this in mind when we created this build this is day 20 and day 21 of the build if you're already following along there's a playlist of all these videos i basically shared everything from the start of this process from getting planning permission all the way to where we are today you can see here when they laid the floor foundations they left this gap uh, it's just about about a foot i could literally fit my foot in there and in a lot of videos this wasn't as visible because obviously i was filming from like an angle but what we have got is there will be enough space to have a soil pipe to come out of the building and join onto the existing drainage in the uk if you're planning a build part of the inspection process is going to be they check if you have good drainage and how you are linking to existing drainage for surface water and any other foul water basically drain water or toilet flushing water so you'll see in the inner wall they left a gap as in they left a few bricks but i don't know why on the outer wall they didn't leave the space so for example you can see here now they've having to hammer drill through the block i feel like they weren't 100 percent sure where the toilet would be going even though i said where i wanted it they wanted to make sure the wall is built and then we could have the pipe as far uh, on the edge of the corner as possible so right now there where the pipe is coming out is actually the internal edge so what he did was he uh, dug up the soil from the garden lifted the slabs if you remember in the previous episode we slabbed our garden and we put a uh, sand <laughs> to stop uh, moss and stuff growing in the slabs the patio and um, you can see here now this pipe work is just tedious it's bits and bobs joining things together getting the right brackets and they can be quite expensive for these soil pipes you can the joins are somewhere in the region of like 15 pounds to 20 pounds per join depending on the type of join and the, the junctions and the t-joins and all sorts so you'll see here he made quite light work of it and we had a, a, semp, a separate drainage system so i wanted the rain water from the front of this house where there would be a slope to come into like a driveway type gutter you know where we walkway the long walkways and this is the black uh, long there you can see here just as he laid behind him that block drive uh, driveway gutter type thing that will link onto the soil pipe but the soil pipe will be underground for the toilet and we can have a join on that for the shower and the sink so it all goes down one pipe um because all foul water and the rain water will go through a separate guttering system so this episode you will see all of that broken down in terms of how long you can expect this type of thing to take it's not time intensive it's just having the right joins making the holes the right size and making sure it's done in the right way so on the first day they did not put a small lintel above the soil pipe it's like a little bit of a cement uh, supporting thing so we sent photos to the inspector and the first time the inspectors actually said anything of any um rejection type situation so we said on top of that soil pipe you need to have a lintel so in, this makes me feel like okay so the inspector does know what he's talking about um and then i told the builders and then the builders said okay you don't need one but i will put one above there because the inspectors asked, asked so he's put a, a, a lintel which is basically like a, a big slab not a slab but like a beam a concrete beam above the soil pipe and um, so the wall the wall itself is not supported or is not crushing the pipe in any way it's freestanding but you can see here this is the the concrete lintel that is basically like a little, it's like a long slab think of it like a slab like a long block they put that over the pipe they re-cemented that then i sent that photo to the inspector and uh, he approved it so you'll notice the the this, the works is coming along now quite nicely so the guttering system the drainage system is this episode and the extension is fully built the skimming's done inside he's just doing the finishing touches around now and this is where they're dragging their feet a bit they're having a few days off because obviously the main chunk of the work is done and it's slowly i'm giving you the days as they work so 21 days worth of work in between that we could easily have another 12 10 to 12 days of days off days where they didn't come because they, it was raining or there wasn't work to do because like the majority of the big work has been done so you'll notice now there's little bits and bobs around the building you'll see they're taking sand inside the extension like the wheelbarrow system so what they're doing is they're putting a lot of creek screech screech is like a sand and a stone mix they're putting that inside because on the floor there will be a layer of concrete i'll keep that to another episode where i'll talk about the damp uh, proofing and all those kind of things and you can see here now what's going we had the old uh, like the clay 
pipes in the ground so we use a special join to join that on to the the drain so the shower water the kitchen because we remember in the existing house we have a shower bath and that's separate so we got the drain for that and then internally he started doing the pipes so i already pre-planned having some type of extension on the back of this house because i left a hot a cold on this and an electrical point which we could expand off so all of that was already pre-created here because remember originally my shed was here so all of this was inside my shed so what's going on now is inside that washroom area he's drilling in the shower unit we're gonna have a mixer tap shower unit which would be hot and water and cold water mixer i thought about having electric shower here but um, i don't know but we'll see how things progress i can always add it on if you need to at a later point but this pipe work will be behind the stud work so it'll be all hidden when i say stud work they're gonna put um plaster boards over this and plaster this in so this will all be behind the shower tiling and there'll be a sliding shower door so there's a lot of pipe work that goes on behind here i also got them to leave a couple of extra hot and colds inside the main area because i'm planning to have a small maybe kitchen sink just for like drinking water and like if, if it's a hot day or something maybe you know it's something like that so we're still in the early planning stages here because we, I know where the space is, but in terms of the use, you'd have to watch later episodes to see how that works. And again, I have got supporting documents of this full process, which you can find in the pinned comments or details. Here's those pipes I'm talking about. So he's left a hot and cold here. So if I put a kitchen unit across that wall there, I can fit probably like a, a thousand unit, a 500 unit, which would be like enough for a kettle, microwave and a sink. So like, you know, just like a, a mini kitchen just for reheating food and giving you like drinking water and having cups of teas, which would be enough. Um, and at any point if it needs to adapt, I can always adjust that to make more s space there. So this is where the shower will uh, mixing system will fit on. And you can see down here, that's where the pipe joins on to create enough options for one, the sink and toilet in the washroom and the shower and then two pipes for the kitchen water which can be on this wall so you'll see that wall there uh, the partition wall that's like a fire retardant they used uh, plaster boards on it here's a closer look at the the pipe work so let me know if you're a plumber is this like is this okay you know what do you reckon about this so these are just uh, copper pipes he uses fire retardant insulation in that that wall there so you know the one behind the kitchen so the plaster boards there are fire retardant and that is fire retardant and then that was the internal stuff done we waited for the shower tray to come and then he started on the drainage this is the rain water so these, these things are quite expensive as well so like you get a long length of drainage and then you get all the clamps and the turns and everything you need to spend like 50 60 quid just on uh, the rainwater system for the upper drainage you know the what would you call this the that plastic thing you know the rain collects in there's an official name for it so the end cap goes on and that funnel uh, funnels the water away from the building into the drainage so we can have a nice uh, dry front which kind of works nicely and you'll also notice that there's some slabbing going on here because this happened with builders they don't jump about with the work they do so i'm trying to keep everything together which is why i'm slowly spending a bit more time because it's like probably five days later from where you are seeing me uh, because i've already slabbed it but there will be a separate episode where i will be talking about the slabbing so they re-slabbed this uh, entire area and they also did some damp proofing on my existing home wall because there are some issues there so the drainage you know they did a good job here uh, it seemed all okay they used enough brackets it all looked nice and the flashing looks better now with the drainage on as well and all that rainwater will then connect onto the existing drain pipe and go down into that drainage system that we've made so a nice clean finish overall uh, you know four out of five stars i uh, just don't like them constantly having fires and burning stuff but i think that's just part of their process so in the next episode you will see more about the slabbing so stay tuned for that and if you're not already subscribed subscribe so you can follow along with this journey and you'll end up seeing me in one episode later on i've already been to ikea to look for a kitchen so you'll see that in a later episode as well see you on the next episode